Hey Pisces, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, this is going to be your general weekly reading. Any information you all need, you can find it within the description box down below. I do have personals open right now for those of you who are interested. Um, you could also check me out on Patreon where I offer additional content for each sign. Any information you all need is in the description box. So we're going to go ahead and get started here for you Pisces. I'm doing an element reading. I'm going over your air energy, your earth, your water, and your fire. So this can normally cover quite a bit of things. So if the reading's not resonating with you in the beginning, feel free to stick around or skip around. You may find something that does. You're holding on to something in your thoughts here. The number four is going to be significant to you right now. Okay, I feel like there's something that you're trying to um, ground here. Uh, could involve a Capricorn or maybe somebody who has Jupiter in Libra. You could be a Capricorn with some Pisces placements watching this, but um, you know, there is this, there, there is something here that you're holding on to, I feel. This could just be you being in a space of like holding on to gratitude. The Four of Swords is a card of gratitude, okay? Peace, rejuvenation. You got the Knight of Wands in the reverse position here. Some of you, it's something that's not really moving. Could involve a uh, fire sign here. You got the Page of Wands as well. Something you're very passionate about here, though. I feel like that could be what you're trying to ground if this is something that you're trying to build, like I said before. I think that you might be in a space, though, where you're losing some motivation. You could be experiencing burnout, so you just want to um, four of swords, rest, rejuvenate. Um, so let's see what's going on in your communication. Let's see what's going on in your communication here, Pisces. The Hermit. King of Swords. Ace of Cups reversed, and the Knight of Cups reversed, okay? I feel like you're losing emotion for something here, or for a person. It could be a Virgo, Aquarius, maybe another Pisces here. Um, but you've got the Hermit right here. There's some kind of truth that you've been waiting on. The Hermit can kind of be a card of introspection. Somebody could have taken a break from speaking with you, or, um, you know, there's some kind of answer here that you felt that you couldn't, that you couldn't access. It's been hidden, basically. And then you have that King of Swords there. So I feel like the honest truth is coming in. You've got the Ace of Cups. Uh, in the reverse position so it may not feel too good or this could be the fact that you are you know losing emotion for something here of course but you've got the knight of cups right here i feel like there's a brand new offer right there pisces it's what you've been waiting on this thing that you were attached to i don't feel as if it was all that you made it out to be if that makes sense like this is actually what you've been waiting on here and it's coming in so i like that for you well let's go ahead and look at your earth energy let's go ahead and look at your earth energy what you need to ground, page of cups, a dream or a vision, getting to work on something here, coming up with a strategy and coming out of a rut. So I like that energy, Pisces. Um, page of cups, water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you could be connecting with a water sign here, but actually putting in work on something here. There's a lot of talk going on with the Page of Cups. You got the Seven of Swords here as well. Some of you, if you felt cheated out of something or if you feel like something didn't work out, this is the opportunity to take back what was taken from you, okay? The Seven of Swords, traditionally his, his land was invaded here in this card and he had to come up with a strategy, a way to get back what was taken from him. And I feel like that's what's going on here. Even if this is just motivation where you've lost motivation, I feel like this is going to be a time where you're coming up with a way to gain that back. You've got the Four of Cups in the reverse position, so definitely coming out of a rut here. I like that for you all. And you even have the Three of Pentacles, which is Mars and Capricorn, so I definitely feel like you guys are gaining that inspiration back. This could be that you're connecting with people who inspire you. What's going on with your stability here, Pisces? Nine of Pentacles reversed. Eight of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Swords reversed. Some of you guys could have been in a position where you were financially dependent on others, okay? You were financially dependent on someone here. I feel like that's going to be changing. you got the Eight of Wands. You could be waiting on... Uh, you know, news that you've received a job or news that there is a job opportunity here available to you. Um, and then you have the eight, the eight of swords in the reverse position. Some of you could have Mer Mercury in Sagittarius, uh, Jupiter in Gemini, or Venus in Virgo. But I feel like you're receiving some kind of good news in regards to work or money, okay? It's, it's getting you out of this space where you feel like stuck, deserted, or abandoned, or relying on people who could take from you at any moment. Because you have that seven of swords there, um... In, in regards to what you need to ground. So getting a hold of that energy there. What's going on with your emotions and your water energy, Pisces? Oh, moon in reverse. Yeah, you're coming up out of a rut here for sure. Coming up out of the water. What else is happening with that energy? The high priestess, strength in reverse. Five of swords. 
Yeah, there's growth and development here. I mean, you have the high priestess in the reverse position as well. So I feel like you're like coming out of hiding in a sense. You're showing yourself, okay? Um, some of you, you could have some skills that you didn't really want to put on display. Maybe you weren't so confident about those. You got the strength card in reverse. So that could be what that's saying. But I also feel like it's saying that you're no longer holding yourself back here. You're allowing yourself to grow and develop. There are three figures there in the five of swords. One's in the back weeping. One is in the middle standing up a little bit taller. And then you have the one in the front who's looking back and seeing how that situation served him. So I feel like that's the energy that you're moving into here is taking a risk and, you know, realizing that it was a really good decision here, Pisces. What's going on? What's your intuition trying to tell you here? The hangman reverse, the full card. Yeah. I mean, like literally this message keeps repeating here for you guys. The devil in reverse. There's definitely something that you're going to have to let go of here. Some of you, you could be kind of living in fantasy land here with the tower that's saying, you know, come back down to earth. So that's the energy that I feel here as well. But for others of you, I feel like this is asking you to end a situation, to walk away from someone or something here. But the hangman in the reverse position and the fool, they're telling you to take a leap of faith here. Okay. So there's a new opportunity coming in for you guys. You could be a little bit nervous or a little bit scared that something's not going to work work out okay or you could be worried about what people think here so that's something else that i'm feeling um but they're wanting you to go for this opportunity here also if you're not seeing the opportunity it could be because you've not uh done this work yet right here release that devil energy what's pisces creating here what's pisces creating Working smarter, not harder, Pisces. That's how this feels to me. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse position. It's not necessarily that you're not working on something here. I do just feel as if you're in, you're moving into a space where you realize that, you know, it doesn't have to be so hard. You got the Two of Pentacles right here. I also feel like you could be working on more than one thing here, okay? Uh, you also have the Two of Swords in the reverse position and the Six of Swords in the reverse position. I think you're deciding not to go through with something here that didn't seem very certain, you know? I feel like there's something here that uh, didn't seem very clear to you on where it was going or what was happening with it. That you've got that two of swords in the reverse position which tells me that you've made a decision here okay and uh, the six of swords to not move forward with that so um that i definitely feel like that's a connection here let's see what you are destroying pisces what's pisces destroying here what's pisces destroying here ace of swords Four of Wands, the Magician in Reverse. Yeah, I feel like this is just something that you've outgrown here. Like, these are really good cards. Don't get me wrong. But, um, you know, I feel like you guys are moving into this space where, like, there's been a lot going on mentally. With the Ace of Swords, there's been a lot of mental chatter, and it's caused a lot of blockages. It's caused you to move too too cautiously to where you've missed opportunities. Death in Reverse, Knight of Pentacles in Reverse. You've missed opportunities for really big changes here in the Four of Wands because you've committed to something else. I think that's what this tower is about, is getting rid of that. Where, wherever you've laid down roots there, I feel that you You've outgrown that the magician no more manipulating yourself or allowing others to manipulate you so i like this a lot for you pisces i hope that this was helpful please feel free to watch out for your other signs but if this is where we part i want to thank you all so much for watching and supporting me and you enjoy your week bye